All right, hello, and welcome to my little walkthrough for what inspiration is. Well, obviously, this is a concept mapping program that we're going to be looking at and we're going to use in our class. So um, I have it on my computer already. You would want to download this from the inspiration website, which should be over in the through the links from um, that are listed on the agenda. So it starts out with um, your inspiration starter and you're able to choose a diagram or you can do an outline. We're going to open up a diagram to just show you what this looks like here. So here we have, um, it's a blank screen that has um, one little bubble in the middle. It says main idea. And so you just type in here what you want your main idea to be. So in my case, I'm going to do, oops, I don't, meaningful. learning. Alright, so now that's my main title. And you click out the side and here we have, it's a, it starts out the default as a green bubble kind of thing and you can change this. You can change the size, you can grab the corners down here and make it big, you can move it around. Um, but what we want to do first is add some, ch uh, they're called uh, child cells or child nodes off this main node here. This is called a node, in case you hadn't gathered that. So I'm going to go up here to create, and I just want to, you choose, you can choose any direction it comes off of, and when you click it, a little node pops off the side, a child node, um, will, and it will have an arrow going to it. You can change this arrow, you can change the direction the arrow goes, so if you want the, this node to lead back to the meaningful learning node, and um, you can do that. You can even add a title or change the um, position of the arrow by clicking on it, making sure that the two little dots are there. That's kind of how you know when things are selected on uh, Inspiration in the graphical user when you're in the diagram mode, because the um, the little dots are all around it. So in here, we're gonna I'm gonna type um, meaningful learning. What's related to that? Well, I don't know. It's relative to the environment. Alright, so then we do that and it automatically resizes the bubbles to make it as big as it needs to be so that the text you have in there is um, fits. Now, right now this is green. Kind of kind of boring. So we're gonna add some we're gonna change the color on this. So we're gonna go here and oops that hides the bubbles if you click up there we're going to go here and right down here in the bottom is a little palette the fill color we can choose this and we can change the fill color and i'm going to make it brownish so um now i have the meaningful learning is brown uh, then over on the side here you can add different kinds of graphics that go along with it because circles get kind of boring you don't need you don't need them all the time or if you want to have something different to um, accentuate uh, make more of a flow chart you can do that or um, so we have many different libraries you have basics you have animals you have everyday stuff like we could choose to put a chair in there for no particular reason and you click on it and then it allows you to add a caption in the bottom and we can just say it's a chair and then if we wanted to add a link to it you click up here on the link button and you start right there and you drag the link over to here and the final dot is where it's going to the arrow is going to connect so there we go and it will automatically move the arrow to the closest space but we can change that like that and we can also say um, meaningful learning, we can give the arrow a reason for being there. Um, is not sitting down, so I'm just adding that. So now we have this, and what we can do here is we can start, at, we can even add other graphics into it by clicking edit, and you can do insert graphic, and you can, it will pull up a little open thing, and you can search through your computer for any kind of graphic that has you know, a GIF, a JPEG, a PNG file, 
BMP file, whatever the graphic file is, you can pull it into Inspiration and you can resize it too and make it so um, so you can use it. So we're gonna, I'll just pull one in here and we'll go to my computer and we'll go to my where things are and I have a couple different things here and let's just choose Oops. I have a couple different things here. So I'm going to choose coffee. And it inserts a picture that I have of me drinking coffee. And so, but I want to resize it. So I'm going to click on this little deal and drag it down a little bit so you can you can you can change the size of your pictures. So that's how you insert a picture and the okay so now the other thing you need to know about inspiration relative to the assignment at hand is you need to know how to add notes and you click on the button or on the node that you want to add a note to so that it has a little uh, boxes on the side and then you click up here to the notes and you when you click on this button it attaches a note file, a little text box opens up that you can add text in here and we're going to just put some text in there. And this saves and it shrinks back in there so that when you click there's a little note icon right here when you click on that on this node to activate it and you can then that shows the note. Alright so then the other piece that you need to do because for this assignment um, be sure you look and see how many notes need to be added to this assignment. Um, you need to add a hyperlink. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the main node, and so keep difference, keep note of the difference between a node and a note. There needs to be a number, a specific number of nodes, and there needs to be a specific number of notes. So okay, so we're going to add a hyperlink, and. You, click, you select your node that you want or picture or whatever you have and you click up here on hyperlink and now you can add a hyperlink to a web page, you can make it an email, you can make it a file within your computer or you can even make it another inspiration document and then this should have, if you have text in your node already it should be here, already. it should in this case it says meaningful learning um, it should automatically pop in here. Now this is when you would go out and go to, to a website that you want to add something to and we'll just do a, a link to Google here. Oops. So you add your link in there and then you do OK and now it's blue and it has the underlined uh, item there and as you can, it's a little outside of the box here, but as you can see up in the left hand upper corner it's a little brown box appears when a hyperlink is now activated. So that's there and it's good. If I click on this I will go to, it will open up my default browser which in my case is Firefox. You might have a different one like Safari or Internet Explorer or Opera or any number of browsers that are available. But it would open up the default one that your computer sees and would go to this site. So you need to have a specific number of hyperlinks as well within your um, inspiration uh, assign assignment that you'll turn in. Alright, so we're going to stop this here and I will add another one shortly, another uh, tutorial shortly for how to save, hyper, uh, save hyperlinks, save your inspiration documents and then we will discuss how to move them into Google Documents.